Welcome to the Ferris Show on television, coming to you tonight from New York City. We start with the serial killers among us. And this is a stunning statistic. The FBI estimates at least 50 open serial killer cases across America. By definition, many fit the profile of Rex Huerman, the man living next door, kind of like John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bundy, the BTK killer who went on for decades. Well, after their arrest, neighbors always say something, something was off, but during the killing spree, nobody knew. And Huerman's arrest in a string of Long Island, New York murders might solve cases nationwide. New tonight, the Las Vegas Metro Police say they will examine cold cases for links to Huerman. The Chester County Sheriff's Office in South Carolina says the sheriff there is helping collect evidence and working with the FBI and law enforcement in New York. Police hauled away a second truck today. We don't know why the police wrapped it in a large tarp. Police said Huerman's Chevy Avalanche played a key role in the case. A witness has told them early on that a black avalanche truck was seen driving away about the time one of the victims disappeared. Joining us tonight, Professor of Psychology at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, Lewis Schlesinger. It's good to see you, Professor. Thank you. We keep often hearing about serial killers, this idea that they are in some way evil geniuses, are they really geniuses or are they just evil and willing to act on that evil? No, well, that's really uh, a myth. Uh, the, uh, Americans, people need their, their serial killers to be evil geniuses with IQs of 160 who speak five languages, including Aramaic, and who are connoisseurs of fine wine. Nothing could be further from the truth. The vast majority of serial sexual murderers are either unemployed or un unskilled or menial jobs. Now, um, Huerman is an exception to that because he was an architect as, as Bundy went to law school and BTK graduated college. But those are really the exceptions. Um, by and large, this is an average group uh, in, intellectually and below average in terms of their occupation and employment. All right, but you think about next door killers as as they've existed. You brought up Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, Ed Gein, David Berkowitz, uh, Dennis Rader, known as known as known as BTK. How are they able, even if they're not geniuses, how are they able to hide in plain sight? How are they able to appear maybe even a little bit weird, but mostly normal to yeah, yeah, their well, to their neighbors and yet perpetrate these just horrific crimes? That's right. Well, the, the basic thing is to understand this. You have to understand first what it is. These are sexually motivated murders. They're not murders as a result of a psychosis, delusions, hallucinations. They're, they're sexually motivated. And so the person's demeanor or whatever mental personality problems they have are not obvious. They're not overt at all. Today, this afternoon, I saw a 20-minute interview of Huerman on his job, on his company. And if you watch that, you see someone who looks absolutely normal. He's dressed neatly. He has his wedding ring in full display. He's articulate. He's bright. He's laughing with the guy interviewing him. The background of his office is neat and, and clean at all. And so when you look at him, there's nothing abnormal at all in terms of his outward appearance. Now, what often happens is they'll interview you know, neighbors and people that he worked with and so on. A lot of times, once the person finds out what he did, they'll say things like, I knew there was something right. odd about him. He was straight. You're right. Yeah. But no, that's just not true. That's just trying to understand that after they know what he did. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.